Hello everybody, welcome to the Excel tutorial. Today I am going to show how to install Zabbix Server 3.0 in Ubuntu 15.10 mission. Using Zabbix, you can easily monitor the servers, network devices, and applications, and monitor many more things related to your server. Let me see how to install this Zabbix in your Ubuntu machine. Let me see how to install Zabbix in Ubuntu. Before installation of uh, Zabbix, you should uh, configure the LAMP setup in your Ubuntu machine. In our previous tutorial, we show how to configure LAMP setup in uh, in Ubuntu machines. After configuration of LAMP setup, now open the PHP configuration file by using Vim etc. PHP Apache 2 PHP init. Press enter. Now search time zone. Here the date and time zone column will be presented here. First of all, enable this. After enabling, now enter your uh, location. My location is Asia Kolkata. After entering the location, now save and quit this configuration file. Now next download the Zabbix package by using following link. I am going to download through wget. Press enter now. Now the package is downloaded. Now the package is downloaded as Debian package. I am going to import into my repository by using dpkg command. Type dpkg hyphen hi subx and enter the package press enter now it's imported into your repository next step update your machine by using apt get update press enter now here the machine got updated now next step i am going to install the zabbix packages now install the Zabbix package by following command. Press enter now. Press Y to continue. Installation of Zabbix is installation of Zabbix is got completed. Next, I am going to create database for Zabbix. Open the MySQL root. Open the MySQL terminal. Enter the MySQL root password. I enter into my SQL shell. Now create one database here by using following command. Press enter now. Now I'm going to create the grand privileges for uh, this database. Use follow comments. Use follow. Use below command. After selecting grand privilege, now press enter. Now the grand privilege is successfully assigned for this DB. Now flush the privilege. Press enter now. And after that quit after that quit this MySQL terminal. Next step import the database schema into newly created database. For that do the following steps. First of all go to this location, press enter type gunzip now extend the create SQL file by using gunzip press enter now now it will be extracted this is the directory now the extracted SQL file will be presented here now I am going to import it into my newly created database by using following command this is the command to import the database schema into your database press enter now Enter the MySQL root password. After entering MySQL root password, now press enter. Now the SQL file is successfully imported into your database. Next step, open the configuration file of uh, Zabbix. For that type, vim etc. Zabbix 
Zambix server dot conf. This is the configuration file and path for Zambix. Press enter to continue and make the following changes into this file. Enable the DB host here, it was presented here. Uncommand this line. After uncommand this line, next do the following. After uncommand this line, come to down. Here, enter your DB name. After entering the DB name, again come down. Enter the database schema into this location. I have entered my database schema here and enter this Zabbix username. Again, come down here. Enter the DB password. After done this configuration, save and quit this file. Now, restart the Apache service. Now, restart the Zabbix server. Press enter. Now the subject server is restarted. Next, next step open your web browser. After opening web browser, now enter your server IP and mention the Zabbix path. Press enter now. Now the setups of Zabbix will be opened. Click next step. Check the PSP connection and it will be all will be fine or not. Here the all connection will be fine. Click next step. Here fill the database configuration here. Enter the following field. After enter the DP details, click next step. Here enter your server name. I'm going to enter Subbix Linux. After enter the server name, click next step. Here the summary details of uh, our configuration will be shown here. After cross check this summary, we we'll click next step. Now the suffix was installed successfully. Now the suffix installation was completed. Click finish to complete this installation. Enter the username and password. Username for suffix is default is admin, and the password is suffix. Click sign in. Now the Zabbix was successfully logged in. This is the dashboard of Zabbix. Here it shows the Zabbix server is running. This is my Zabbix server. It was running under localhost 10051. Here a lot of options will be available to monitor your server. For example, I am going to click reports. Here the status of reports will be shown here. And uh, again, go to monitoring. Click graphs. Here, the memory usage of that particular uh, server will be shown here. And many more options is there to monitor your server by using this Zabbix tool. This Zabbix monitoring tool is very easy to install and also and also monitor your uh, servers efficiently. Enjoy using this tutorial. Thank you for watching.